thankful for this opportunity to be with you on this Thursday. And today I'd like to go to Psalm uh, 140. Psalm 140 is a Psalm of David. And he begins with clearly understanding that he's in a bad situation. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Now, don't we feel like that often? It's just very difficult to see leaders, people that we should respect, clearly doing evil things. And, um, and we see the violence around us, which imagine mischiefs in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. All the things that we hear. Well, thankfully, this psalm doesn't just stay on that. He is crying out to the Lord to meet his need, and he is uh, asking him to hear the voice of his supplication. But then we have the just wonderful declaration of faith at the end of this psalm. And I think it really does speak to David knowing that God was going to hear and answer his prayers Verse 12 says, I know that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted and the right of the poor. And here's what I want us to see. Surely the righteous shall give thanks unto thy name. The upright shall dwell in thy presence. The key that David found over and over, and we should find, and we certainly see it in the New Testament, is that giving thanks to the Lord for who he is and the relationship that we have with him is how we can overcome fear of the attack around us. God has not given us a spirit of fear. We often quote that verse. He, instead, he gives us the, uh, a sound mind and power and love. These things are very important to be just deeply within our hearts. And often, though, we find ourselves thrown by thinking too much about how Satan is working. But we need to understand that God is on the throne. He will maintain the cause of the afflicted. And so we need to give thanks unto his name. One of the ways not to get bitter, and that's blaming other people or other situations for your own problems, is to give thanks to God for whatever trial you're going through. Count it all joy, as James chapter 1 says, and then take responsibility for your own life, and bitterness will go away, and therefore you will not... Uh, find yourself grieving the Spirit of God. We need to give thanks. And if we do, and we're trusting the Lord, one of the great things then that the Lord will do is that he will bring us into his presence. We will have the joy of uh, fellowshipping with him and knowing him and uh, having our spirits refreshed. You know, so many Christians just get pummeled by all that they're hearing and situations that they're seeing and and uh, problems that they're facing. And they don't go to the Lord to have the refreshment of God and that confidence given by the Lord uh, as they face all of that. I'm telling you, when you see the Lord, you're fine because you realize when your eyes are opened, he is in control. So I wanna encourage you today to end like David does. Certainly we can cry out, Lord, deliver me. But we need to end by saying, I know that he will, and I want to dwell in his presence.